Hi everybody and welcome to a super quick journal with me video. In this video I am just super quickly throwing down a couple of my new branding items from my new um, Etsy shop that I opened. So I'm just quickly flipping through so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about and what I mean in case you haven't seen any of the other videos and you're not really sure what I'm talking about. But I opened an Etsy shop and the main item in my Etsy shop um, is, are these pre-decorated uh, traveler's notebooks and uh, I'm, I had a bunch of other things but they well I had a vintage paper pack that sold out in like 12 hours and then I've got some yarn samples of things um, but the main items that I'm going to be focusing on are these pre-decorated traveler's notebook it, traveler's notebooks and this was my first one so um, when you open a new business you have to have all the cool things <laughs> to put on your packages and one of the items are these really pretty stickers that I got from Studio Esper and I will link her information down below. I'm pretty sure she's got an Instagram and an Etsy account. She contacted me through Instagram and um, that's how I got these stickers and then I made these business cards that I just sent through Office Depot. They're really nothing special but they're important and special to me because they've got my branding um, and my information on it. And the branding I wanted, I had these huge elaborate plans of what I wanted and in the end I just could not get it to come to fruition. I uh, am not an artist and I was kind of depending on like my friends to kind of help me out and I just got frustrated with myself for asking for my friends to help me instead of just trying to figure it out and do it on my own. It isn't their business, it's not their company. Um, this is something that I wanted to do and um, in the end I actually like how it came out. It's just this really simple S that I just drew on my iPhone and um, and it's how I sign my letters. It's how I, you know, it's just a simple S and it's just for my name. So um, I also had a wax seal made. Uh, we are planning in the future to start making brass wax seals that look just like that on the left. And um, I just wanted to kind of put a quick little wax seal down that had my logo on it. Sorry about that. Clara woke up and I had to go get her. So if you hear her desperately chewing on her pacifier, I apologize, but she is cutting two teeth at the moment and super angry. <laughs> um, so yeah, I wasn't super impressed with the image quality of the wax seal initially. And I think it's just because the way that I put the wax seal into the wax, it was kind of at an angle and it smushed weird and uh, I think it had started to dry already that quickly and so the image didn't come out as crisp as I wanted. And I know that wax seal has a beautiful crisp image on it and sh so I should have no issues. So I just did it really quickly again with a little less wax and it came out perfectly and I'm really, really impressed. So stay tuned if you're interested in the wax seal thing. I'm gonna bring it in a little closer so that you can kind of see what I mean. See how much more crisp the image on the bottom is and how weird the top one is. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that I had a pretty clear representation of what that wax seal image should look like just because it's my personal branding and I want it to look good. I wasn't seeking perfection, but I was seeking at least good. <laughs> so yeah, I don't really do much else to the page. I'm uh, just satisfied with that. I think I put a sticker down. Oh, I do this wax seal. This wax seal is actually not meant to be a wax seal. It was a letterpress block. Uh, it was a big, huge, heavy piece of um, lead. And I asked my husband if he could turn it down at work. He works inside of a machine shop. He does other things, but where he works the building that he has, he's got a bunch of machines that he can turn stuff down on. And so I gave him this big heavy block and I said, can you take the corners off of this and make it round? And he did and it came out beautifully. And I've used that wax seal on all of my packaging for all of the orders that I um, shipped out during my opening. And I really love it. It's um, it's actually a postal related thing. It says no postage necessary if mailed within the United States. And it was meant to be something that they put on postcards and stuff. And I really love it. And so I wanted to kind of document that as well, that that was the seal that I used for all of my um, 
packages. So I'm going to try to salvage that wax that was on the misprint. And then I use the wax seal to kind of press down this chunky little bit and I tear it off and I'm going to actually reuse that wax as well. I didn't like how fat it was. And so I just use my fingernail and peel it off and it looks fine. It looks good. And I can reuse that wax. I can save it. So I'm just going to put it in my wax spoon and reuse it. So that is going to be it. I, oh, no, that's right. I put down um, uh, a couple more stickers. But yeah, I just really want to thank everybody who has supported my shop and my opening. And it's just been a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed it. It's uh, given me a new sense of purpose inside of this community. I feel like I have a different role in the community. I'm not necessarily making things for other people. I'm doing things um, for you. I'm making things from my own heart to give back to my community and that feels really good. I still do love working with other brands and collaborating and I still will continue to do that in the future. I still love to do that. I think it's great to support our brands inside the community, but it just feels good to have my own little spot now. I don't know how far I'll take it in the future. It just depends on how life goes, but in for right now, I really want to focus on my wax seals and my notebooks. I'm already working on a December one and I'm really excited. I think it's going to be really, really fun. It's made out of 100% vintage Christmas items and I'm just thrilled. I can't wait. So I think that is pretty much it now. I've put everything down. I'm going to decorate the pages more, but I just wanted to quickly put that stuff down. This isn't like a proper journal with me video, but I just wanted to quickly put those things down um, just for posterity. So um, I hope that you have enjoyed this little peek into behind the scenes, I guess. <laughs> um, stay tuned for an ASMR unboxing video soon. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys later. Thank you so much. Bye.